Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going out and I just thought I'd film the makeup I'm going to be wearing because I've noticed that I have been reapplying the same sort of look every evening. If I have like a dinner to go to or something, I've been reaching for the same products and I've noticed that everything I use is really, really long lasting. Like when I get home, it looks pretty much exactly the same. I have really oily skin and oily eyelids and it has taken me a while to find really good products that work for me so i just thought i would share so let's get started the first thing i'm going to use is this stay flawless 15 hour primer from benefit and this is a really really big reason why my eyeliner and my eyeshadow um lasts a lot longer this i had just been using for my face but i decided to try it on my eyes and it actually really works well it's so good for the eyelids so i'm gonna put this all over my face it's like glue it makes everything stick and last a lot longer and then I'm just gonna smooth it out and make sure all my skin is covered next you want to use a concealer I really recommend studio finish by Mac the studio finish concealer Either the palette, which looks like this, well, it's not really anything much left, but this isn't even what really came in here. This is, um, it's still studio finish, but I um, departed some of what I had, like the individual part, and I scraped it in here because I really like mixing my shade with the character shades and stuff, and I had that lying around, so. But I really, really love this palette. When this is done, I'm gonna get a new one. I just love it so much. And the Studio Finish Concealer is very, thin but it's so full coverage it's like totally matte um so if you have dry skin it might not be the best for you but if you have blemishes that you want to cover up i would definitely go for this because when you put your foundation on top even if your foundation sort of wears off a bit if you have this as a layer underneath on your problem areas um they won't show through because you have like you know two or three different layers of stuff on your face so that's a really good way to make your base last longer so anyways I'm gonna apply some of this now um, I really like using the burnt coral shade which is the orangey shade um, it really cancels out pretty much all my discoloration and stuff you can't really tell right now because the light is really bright but my skin is not perfect so I'm gonna put a lot on the lower part of my face that's why I have a lot of like darkness and um, scars and stuff like that so i do put quite a lot on the lower half of my face and my chin and it just evens out everything really well once i put foundation on top okay so next is foundation and of course you guys know if you watch my videos i always use the essay lauder double wear and right now i'm using 4n2 spiced sand and this is my holy grail foundation it lasts so long it comes in like really light shades and then it goes down to darker shades so there's pretty much a shade for most skin tones which i like um there's a lot of shades to choose from so yes if you want your foundation to last longer you need to get this because i love now sheer glow i love other foundations but this is the only thing that lasts from like 8 a.m to 6 p.m on me um so love this so i'm gonna scoop some out with my brush because i'm pretty much at the last little bit and i'm gonna put it on my hand the foundation that i'm gonna mix that with is l'oreal true match and i do that just to thin it out a bit just to make the consistency a little bit less thick um, and also it's slightly darker so it helps to match my skin tone more so I'm just going to mix those two up on the back of my hand and I'm just going to apply it. And I'm going to take this a bit below my jaw just to blend it in. So now I'm just going to blend it out. I don't know why I was using this stippling brush. I sometimes use it, but my favorite brush to blend out foundation is actually the buffing brush from Real Techniques. So, just finish off with that. 
Next, I'm going to use another concealer, and this time it's for underneath the eyes. Um, just to brighten the area. I don't really have dark circles, but I have just been loving this concealer lately. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And I have it in the shade Honey. I can't get this in the UK, I don't think. Um, I have looked pretty much everywhere, but I ended up getting it on eBay. So if you want it and you're on NC40, NC42, this is a nice sort of highlight shade. So I'm going to apply a little bit of that just underneath. Not too much. I really love this concealer so much. So I kind of do that. And then the brush that I really like to blend it out with is the Flawless Concealer Brush from e.l.f. It works really well. So then I'm going to set the under eye concealer with a mineral powder this is a translucent powder from Innisfree this is really really popular um, it's pretty similar to the elf translucent HD powder but I just thought I would use this today because I always show you guys the elf one and I love to use it with this brush I always use powders under my eyes with this brush here and you also want to set wherever you get oily this will make the foundation last but i find that even if i don't set this foundation it still lasts really long but if you have oily skin just go ahead and dust some powder wherever you tend to get oily and also put some on your eyes if you have oily eyelids i really love translucent powder because it never makes you look cakey but it just makes everything look more flawless now I'm going to do my brows and I'm using the Soap and Glory Archery Brow Pencil. This is the one with the spoolie at the end. There's also one that has like a felt tip marker sort of pen on one end and a pencil bit on the other. So I just go underneath and I, I extend the line and I go on top and I just try to create a shape that I like following my natural brow and I bring this in a little bit because my brows are very uneven And then I just like to look at the shape and make sure it's kind of even. It's not a perfect, but that's fine. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows with this e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Um, you get a powder and sort of like a wax. So I'm just going to take an angled brush. So next, I'm going to just define the tail of my brow with the wax. Um, I just like to do this because it makes them look a little bit more sharp and neat. So I just take a little bit with the same brush. Next, I'm going to take my handy tiger brush again. I really love these brushes. And I'm going to get some more concealer. This time I'm going to use NC42. This is my skin tone or slightly lighter. Just get a little bit on the brush. And I go around the brow. And I have a lot of stray hair, so this really helps to give that freshly waxed look. And sometimes I just do sort of the bottom if my eyebrows were recently threaded or whatever, but I need to do a little bit of the top. So just blend out the edges of that concealer so that it is invisible anymore. 
If you guys have never tried the Archery Brow Pencil from Soap and Glory, you need to get it. It's so good. Like, I love how thin the nib is. Can you see how small that is? And it just makes drawing the lines so easy. And you can use this for your whole brow. Like, you don't have to just use it for the outline. You can use it for the whole sort of thing. Um, that's just how I like to do it. So, highly recommend this. Next, this is what I'm going to be using for my eyeshadow. So... I, I think I've shown you this like a billion times, but I just love this palette so much. So I'm going to take a blending brush. I'm going to do my crease first. So I'm going to take this, these two colors together and just get sort of like a warm brown. You can also use like a bronzer, like a matte bronzer if you don't have these sorts of shades that I just showed you. And I'll just zoom in. Okay, so I'm gonna take that color and just put it in my crease. Next, I'm gonna take this light shade and just put a little bit on my lids. Next, I'm going to show you another product that I really, really recommend that you try out. And it's from Maybelline. It's the Lasting Drama Black Shark Gel Liner, I think it's called. Yeah. And it looks like this. And just twist off the cap. And the little nib is kind of like this silicone material. Whoops, I'm getting it on my hand. But it's exactly like the Benefit one. All you do is twist it up. And it's a bit tricky to see how much is coming out. So squeeze some out and then sort of go like this so that you have the gel liner on the whole like outside of the nib and I find that really helps. So the way I do my liner is I start from the middle, well I start from the inner corner kind of and when I get about halfway, let me just make sure I have enough on my thing, when I get about halfway I just in a straight line and then I just connect the line from the bottom recommend this liner I've worn this on a night out like I was out for hours dancing sweating and when I got home my eyeliner looked exactly the same so this is really long lasting I love it next I'm just gonna take a black liner from Illa Masca and fill in my waterline I'm gonna fill it in quite quickly so I'm gonna take these two colors that I used in my crease and put it on the lower lash line and I'm slightly gonna smudge out that black at the same time. This is the mascara that I've been loving for like months now. I love how like wet the formula is. It just really works well for me. And yeah, it's just something about it that I really, really like. So I'm gonna use that. Because it's such a wet formula, I like to use um, something to shield my lid so like Michelle Phan's tip of the business card or any sort of card really helps so next I'm gonna do blush and if you want your blush to last really long I recommend using a cream blush like this one from elf this is in Superstar, so you just put a little bit on and before it completely sets, just put like a nice matching powder blush on top, like I would use this one. This is the Lace Palette from Sleek. Today I'm just going to use a powder blush and I think actually I'm going to contour first. So let me just back up a bit. I'm going to take this Kiko bronzer in 101. And I'm going to apply this before blush. So let me just get my angle blush from e.l.f. I love to use this one with bronzer. I'm going to swirl it around. This is what it looks like. 
and I'm just gonna go underneath my cheekbones and around my face. So let me just get my mirror. And just gonna sort of like stamp it into my skin. See that on the other side. You don't wanna come too far in. And then I'm just gonna sort of blend it out. Get a bit more. And I'm gonna just dab it along my hairline. Because I have a very big head. So, and this just helps warm up my skin. So I'm looking quite pale. <laughs> Okay, so now we can do blush and I'm just going to take this powder blush from Sleek. As you can see, I use it a lot and this Real Techniques blush brush is amazing. If you don't have it, I really, really recommend it. And I'm just going to pop that one the apples on my cheeks. I love this Real Techniques blush brush. It's so soft. You can cover like a really wide area or you can just like sort of dot it like that because it's kind of tapered at the tip. And I like to put like what I was left on the brush around my face as well, just to warm it up even more. I only do this if it's sort of like a nice subtle peachy shade because it kind of blends into my skin. Next I'm going to do my lips and I always start out with some sort of tint if I'm going to be going out because even after your lipstick has worn off you still have a bit of color on your lips. So today I'm going to be using this um, Last and Finish Rimmel Tint and the shade is nothing but nude. So it looks like this and it's just like a marker sort of pen thing. So I'm going to apply that all over my lips first. <laughs> And I'm actually mixing Max Spice with a cool eye pencil from Topshop. This is in Sable and I've never actually used this on my eyes. I bought this the other day and ever since I've been using it just on my lips mixed with Spice. It creates that 90s brownish look that I was never a fan of but now I kind of like it on me so I'll show you what it looks like. So always start with the Cupid's bow just to create the shape that you want and then you can go on to the rest of the lips okay so now I'm just gonna take some of the brown and just dot it in my lips like this and I'm gonna take more of the spice and just blend that all in together So this is the finished look, I hope you guys like it. I added more brown today, I usually add more spice than brown but today I added quite a bit of brown. Um, that's the beauty of mixing things, you can kind of like customize your colors, whatever you're sort of feeling like that day. I love mixing different things together. So this is the result and I'm going to show you one other lip um, option because this product is super long lasting and today's tutorial is all about my long lasting autumnal makeup. I got this a few weeks ago from Boots and it's the Rimmel Provocalypse um, Kiss Proof Lip Color and I have it in the shade Make Your Move. So it's kind of like this like nudie brownish shade. Let me swatch it so you can see what it looks like. But it's really, really nice. It's definitely right up my alley. I love this sort of nude. So it looks like that. So I'm gonna take this off and apply this and show you what it looks like because this lasts for hours. So it's already starting to set and this is what it looks like with just the color but you're meant to apply the lock and shine sort of gloss on top that this is what helps it to last longer I know anybody's gonna be if you're looking for a long wearing lip color try like something matte or something like this definitely put a lip tint underneath whatever you're using and at least when whatever you're wearing wears off you'll still have like that tint and yep this is what I'm gonna be wearing a lot for autumn um, more likely with the brown and spice liner, but 
yeah the rest like the base makeup the cat eye the brows this is how i've been liking to do my makeup so i'll see you guys in my next video bye